Hello, everybody. All right. Um, got a bunch of stuff done today. We're going to chill for the rest of the day. Uh, I've done Isle of the Blessed. I've done Orpheus Ascending. Apparently, there were some uh, Easter eggs in Orpheus Ascending that I maybe missed, but we're going to try the third DLC anyway. So, Wait, 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 wait. Return to one of the most dramatic moments from the, the Talos Principle 2 while being challenged with extremely difficult puzzles. Oh, God. Okay. So this Isle of the Blessed says fresh to medium. This says extremely difficult. So this is probably going to be the hardest one. Is based on how it's describing itself. Some TP1 soundtrack vibe. You've been making a lot of progress. New citizens, new cities, even space travel. You really don't do things by halves, do you, Byron? You're right. But I'm very aware that we have to be careful. Things are moving so fast. If you make a robot, why the make it is British? Noima is just a tool. What the it fuck? doesn't magically solve all our problems. You have choices. We have to learn to apply it correctly. There's options. What? You're not just sticking your hand in it and seeing if it goes bzzzt. Hey, I haven't done that in months. It's almost like you've learned something. I have. <laughs> I feel like a robot would be able to make a better bzzzt sound than sounding like you. a... None of this is easy. In fact, like a human the saying that. anyone's ever done. We're changing everything about how we interact with this world. There's a lot of baggage we have to get rid of. And truth be told, some of it's my own. I appreciate that, Byron. But there's something I'd like to know. I'm an open book. We never really had a chance to talk after you came back from the megastructure. But now that I look back, I feel that somehow the experience changed you. So what happened to you inside the machine? What really happened? Well, you know the beginning of it. Oh, shit. We've made it into Good the transition. for the second time. You were waiting back at the VTOL. I was desperate to find Athena. I got to the terminal before 1K, started going through the files. And just when I thought I'd found something, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Do not come. You know, usually I'm not into the cutscenes in this game, but like the soundtrack and everything worked really well with it. Um, I have heard about the uh, Chris Tyson drama, but when I say heard of, I mean literally just that. I haven't done any kind of a research into it. Have I been damaged? Am I in sleep mode? You are. But this is not your dream, Byron. It is Athena's. Your mind is trapped in the gyre of her thoughts, circling eternally between an impossible hope and an unbearable grief. My friends need me. I have to get out of here. Your friends are your only hope. Okay. So, but if you can overcome these trials, perhaps right. I can help your friends find you. You're always so proud of humanity, but what is their history, really? Bombing and burning and starving each other? Hate responding to hate? An endless downward spiral? They were more than that. They were capable of so much. The only thing they were capable of was increasingly inhuman atrocities. Monstrous acts against themselves and against their world. They deserved what they got. And if we That's a very not nuanced take for a robot. The same fate. Okay, wow. Alright, I guess I'm going to uh, one and two.
Why am I? Oh, in the abyss specifically? Okay, well, this is the... All right. Yeah, so... Uh... All I know about the drama is that people are arguing about it. And it's not like a, like, oh, everyone has come to the same conclusion dogpiling thing. And so if I look into it, it's going to be not right now. Because it seems like people are still arguing about it and trying to figure out what the fuck is even going on. So I'm a, I'm a big proponent of, like, not commenting on things unless I have some level of confidence about what I would be commenting on. Speaking of which, there's a clip of me talking about, uh, or being asked about the uh, fucking uh, Kendrick and Drake drama. And me not really offering anything of substance and Peach just talking about it uh, because I didn't know about it. Um, I wound up after this point. Well, after that point, I mean. Um, I wound up uh, very much enjoying uh, Not Like Us by Kendrick. Um... I think that that's a banger. Now that I've listened to it a few times. And I think that anybody like doing this whole thing where they pretend to, ooh. I see what the conundrum is here, hold on. Anybody doing this whole thing where they pretend like, Drake is a competent, <laughs> likable person in any way is just embarrassing. I want it to be known that Canadians also don't like Drake, even if most of Drake's fans are probably in the Ontario area. Generally, I think most people are on Kendrick's side here. And Drake is probably a pedophile. Or sorry, an ephibifibophile. A heebie file is what I meant to say. Um, all right, so there's a wall here. Let's see if there's a good reason why I would use this wall. Yeah. Blue goes to red. Yeah, here we go. And then we just do this. Oops. No. So if I want to go directly blue to blue... Oh, I can probably just do it through here, right? Kind of... No, I want to do it... Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Because, yeah, I, I, um, I've always heard great things about Kendrick. Um, but I was never really that into it. Like, I knew that, like, what? Was it To Bim Pimp a Butterfly that was one of Fantano's 10s? I listened to a few of the 10s or whatever. Um, I 
I wasn't huge on it, not for any like particular reason other than just like a lot of hip hop artists, a lot of rap artists that I listen to have like a different voice. Well, not saying that everyone I listen to has the same voice, but like that voice is particularly like a little bit more higher pitched and soft spoken, which was, I guess, probably difficult for me to get into. Like, it's, it's not the swag of Snoop Dogg, kind of, like, soft-spoken. There's something, there's something about his voice that I wasn't, that I, uh... Was preventing me from, like, just fully getting into it, I guess. Um... Okay, let me just rethink this right now. Thank you, Cole Shiloh, I appreciate it. Um... Cat Chef and I watched the episode of Degrassi where Drake gets shot. That was fun. Okay, so I can connect from here. Oops. To here with blue. Just make a direct connection. Right? Then if I want to connect all the... Then if I want to connect all the reds... I could probably... No, because it's still crossing the path. It's still crossing the path, even if I connect this and this. I don't need to connect that one, which is nice. What if I, what if I use this, open the door? Is there a way I can like place it on the other side? Rust trial? Uh, yeah, I mean like Alec Baldwin probably deserved, deserved some jail time, but Looks like the prosecutors were hiding evidence, so it doesn't really matter. Because <laughs> like a, a fair trial is more important than anything. So if you if you don't give someone a fair trial, then it's like okay, well, how do you expect to convict them? Um, I'm not gonna watch the newest Boys fourth season for a long time, maybe ever. Maybe I'm done with the boys. I don't know. It just seems like a lot of commitment for something that's probably not going to be very good. Okay. If I do blue here, no, that doesn't work. If I do blue here, that doesn't work. If I do blue here, that doesn't work because there's still it's still going to interrupt the path. Thoughts on long legs? It was long lame. Thanks for the super chat, Goo Thanos. Nick Cage was Nick Cage. He wasn't incredible. He was just kind of funny. He works better in a film like Mandy that's not taking itself as seriously. I think the marketing... I knew from the get-go that I wasn't going to be, like, wowed by the movie because I've seen other movies from the same director and they're just not good. Um, and I was hoping, like, I don't know, best case scenario, just the fact that there's that neon involvement that... Uh, just the fact that there's that neon involvement would have I don't know brought it up a notch and there's things that I liked about it but like Jesus Christ it was really uh, boring and not scary and some cringeworthy shit in it honestly Okay, so now I just what? Okay, hold on. Did I overcomplicate things? 
Is this a lot simpler than I thought? Where I just bring this through now, and then I do it on this side, and I'm fine? Yeah, I am stupid. We're fine here. Wait, no, because that's not blue. Damn it. Okay, well, I could get the blue right here. So maybe I should have it on the other side. Okay, here we go. There needs to be a way I can do this. Oh, I get it. We make it self-sufficient by placing it right here. We place it right here, and then we connect this first. And now I can move it because it's self-sufficient. And now it's not blocking. Oh, it's not perfect though. I'll do this one more time. We gotta make sure they're all connected. We gotta... I'm getting a phone call. I'll be right back. That was uh, one of the moving companies I called earlier. I'm trying to get a quote. I had to schedule a thing. All right. Uh, what was I doing? So that is it overhyped? Long legs? Yes, it's incredibly overhyped, and I thought it would be the case because I've seen other movies from the director. See, I don't think this is going to work. So we have, oh, but now I don't, okay, wait, 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 wait. I can rearrange one of the holes. I'm moving again, yeah. Uh, Cat BF and I are separating, but it's amicable and we're not like, there's nothing toxic and there's nothing, no one's abandoning either person. It's just like, we're just friends. We're good friends and uh, it doesn't make sense for me to be paying rent in Atlanta anymore. So we're waiting till the end of the lease, which is coming up in a few months. And, um, we're st we've still got all the same plans that we've made over the year. I have not heard of World of T-Shirts. Um, uh, 
But yeah, it's something that we both kind of knew for a while. We just made it official. Have you heard of World of T-shirts? What if I bring this on the other side? Can I bring that? Can I? Br yeah, I've not heard of World of T-shirts. I didn't see Nosferatu trailer because it's a movie I'm. I don't need to wonder whether or not I want to see, so I'm not watching it. Putting something on this side doesn't help. If I could put this on the other side, that would be very helpful. The problem is there's no way to pick this up and have the door open. There's no way to do that. I saw the TV glow was not great. I wanted to like it. Couldn't. Because this is just going to give me a red here, because it's already. Yeah, that's a red. I need a blue. The only way to get blue is directly from the source. If I get it directly from the source, then it... crosses wires. So how do I make that one not cross wires? How do I... Oh no, it's fine. Um, if I had... What's the angle I need to do it at? This one's stumping me already, this is great. Level one is already like a real thinker, which is nice. I am excited for TIFF. Uh, that's not the full lineup that came out today. So I'm gonna wait before I make my schedule. A lot of things get added over time. Um, I'll definitely be seeing The End by uh, Joshua Oppenheimer. Oppenheim Joshua Oppenheim? Because <laughs> it'll be really interesting seeing how he handles a not documentary. And I love Tilda Swinton, so. Um. Okay. So this door. Any new directors you're keeping an eye out for? Uh, new directors. I mean, ones that I mentioned in my cookies and stuff. Like, uh, I don't know. Lance Oppenheim, not jo not to be confused with Joshua, is a great new director. He's been making a lot of great stuff. Jim Cummings has been making a lot of great stuff. I hope the Nirvana The Band The Show movie is ready for TIFF, because that would be great. I am, yes, keeping an eye out for Chris Stuckman. Christ Uckman.
Okay, what if I just ignore this one first? We just do this, we do this one first. It, then this can't possibly be on this side because it's going to cross paths. So this one can't possibly be on this side of it. So we need we know that for sure the blue one has to be on this side or at least on that side of the... Uh, of the... And then I can't open the door. So like theoretically this, this, what if I just stand in front of things to open the door and I interrupt that path for like a little bit? Okay, so that door's open. Then I stand in front of this, run, and are we, Soft locked. Thank you, Fruitless Apple. 75 months of YMS. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you. Right, this is all the tools we have. We obviously want... Something like that. Something like that! Okay, now... Both of those doors are open, but I'm not on the right side. So this is preventing that door from being open. Have I seen green room? Yeah, it's fine. It's not entirely forgettable. It's fine. There's just kind of a, like a lot of movies that have the same vibe, I guess. Okay, a door that opened. That's how I got the thing. We don't necessarily have to have a door open for me to solve the puzzle from this point. Yeah, Patrick Stewart was the most memorable part of the movie. It was just him playing that type of character, I guess.
Oh, I can't get through. Have you seen Green Room 2015? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to a new Steve McQueen all the time, for sure. I love that this is the first puzzle and I'm like just absolutely stumped. That's great. I'm starting to think about ways I can do things. They did say it was going to be hard. All right. So I think what I want to do... Now I can grab either of these. And can manipulate them from this side. I feel like maybe I should have um, tried to do that with the... Uh It's only letting me put it in one specific plot spot. I guess it's even easier to do from this side, the thing that I'm thinking about doing. So I can't bring the driller through, really, but I can take either of these. So if I take either of these through, I can continue, I can continue the blue. Okay. I can do blue like right here. Like that through the center door. Two thousand two hundred thirteen Blu ray collection, that is more than me. Even if I use these windows, it doesn't, like, stop it from crossing. If I... Oh. What if I go around the door? What if I go... 
Yeah, okay, that makes a bit more sense. I think I was overthinking it, and I think I have the idea now. I just have to use the existing door. That one that opens there. And I think that's simple and, like, I don't even... I think that this is actually way easier than I thought, and I just kind of fucked myself. Um... Yeah, just go around the right-hand side with the blue, but then will I still... If, let's say, I go around here with the blue, will I be able to make that angle? Yeah. I don't see any reason why that shouldn't work. And I just go like this. Oh, come on! Fuck. Oh. But then can I... No, because that... Oh. If I... If all I would need is just that blue laser here. So if I can recreate this exact same thing... No. Fuck. Because even if I move this over slightly to the right then that door wouldn't be able to be open without it crossing with what I'm trying to do. That door needs to be open in order for me to literally be on this side and go through and do anything. They're reprinting the 4K box sets, like the German ones. It would be solved if I could just do this, like here. If this could connect right here. Unfortunately, there's they're blocking me from doing that. There's literally no angle that I can see the blue thing and still be on this side of the wall. I can't make blue with the inverter, so it has to be... Okay, this... No. It's blocking it no matter what I do. I mean, you learn chopsticks just by doing it. A 
I'm gonna pee. Alright. It's very complicated. It's funny that I'm even considering, like, looking up the solution, and this is the first puzzle in this fucking DLC. <sighs> this might just be, like, a brain fart type vibe. Like... If I could get the red on this side, then things would work out. There's no way to op have that door open. Oh, wait. I c no, that still doesn't make any sense. Because even if I did this, as soon as I move that, it doesn't have it anymore. Is this the last DLC? Yeah, it's the final. Well, it's the final of the three they released. And the description says that it's, like, really hard puzzles, so I'm glad I read that at first. Um, there's a way to automatically do mid-roll ads, but they do, like, one every fucking two minutes. So maybe you could just automatically do them and then remove half of them. Maybe that would be easier. I don't know. I don't know how you're doing it, so. So even if, let's say, I brought this all the way back here, even if, let's say, I brought it, like, as close to this as possible, it would still be blocking. It would still be blocking. I need a clear path from blue to blue. How am I supposed to have this door open? There's no way. I'm going to have to look up a solution for this one because whatever the fuck is happening here, I just do not have... I am not in the right, like, way of thinking. What is this DLC called again? Jesus Christ. What is this DLC even called? Into the Abyss, like, 01. All right, let's just see what the solution looks like. Okay, this person has massive field of view. With GTA 6 on the horizon, would you consider a RDR2 replay or any other Rockstar game? Alex recently revealed RDR2 as his fav favorite game of all time. I'd be interested seeing how it would hold up. Uh, I could play... Red Dead 1 and 2 at some point, but like, I, I just remember the story was so slow on Red Dead 2. There's a video of us doing it and just kind of like wanting to be done with it. Like, I love the uh, sandbox elements of Red Dead 2. The sandbox is better in Red Dead 2 than Red Dead 1, but the story is way better than, in Red Dead 1 than Red Dead 2 is 
how I feel about it. Um, I don't think I have time to replay it, another Rockstar game that I've already done right now. I think I'll just wait for GTA 6 in what, like another year or two? What do we think? Thanks, though. Goo Thanos. Um, all right, I'm just going to see how this is done. I'm watching them do this and I don't understand what they're doing. Why does that need to be over there? I don't know. We're going to find out. Okay, so I see how they've done it. I didn't fucking memorize it, but now I have an idea of what the, uh, what they did was very complicated, but now I have the right way of thinking. All right, so basically what I want to do I understand now. Okay. I think. As soon as I get rid of this, there's no... Okay. I think I'm gonna have to watch them actually fucking do it again, because that, it's just... Hello, this everyone. Is, oops. This is so complicated. I, I, I have an understanding of what direction they went with this, but I'm literally just gonna have to just watch them do it step by step, because this is just so ridiculous. This is, this is actually insane. Okay. We're going to do literally step by step. Okay. I'm just going to copy exactly what they're doing. Okay. That's step one. I get the thing.
Then they go like this. Okay, then that, okay, okay. I think I understand it now. Now they can remove this. That's the way, okay. Then you have this over here. I'm still gonna need to follow this step by step. It's so stupid. Okay. Then you replace this one so you can move the blue one again. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now, now, let's see if I can figure it out from here. All right, I'm not gonna watch their thing. Thank you, Dante. All right, now we have this. See if I can figure it out from here. Uh, try this. We can feed that. There we go like this. Door is still open. This now, we can make a connection here. And then, fuck, I'm still gonna watch it. I'm pissed. Hello. Streaming. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. Looks great. Thank you. All right, I will eat this shortly. I'm just gonna watch how to do this. Okay, they didn't even do what I just did. Here's what they did. First, we got it. Oh. We got to move this again. So they didn't change where that was yet. They changed, they do, they have this here now. Then they have this going to just this and this and this here but there's no laser connected to it so it's not going to ir interfere with anything now because there's no laser but now do i connect that to the center one too do i connect it to here yeah so the door's open but the blue one's not shit all right, I'm watching them still. Okay, that's exactly how it is. Then we connect the red to... Deselect, okay. Deselect from the door, connect here. Now, we've set things up so that the door will close and that this will open. That's so fucking insane. What the fuck was that? That's so stupid. Done. How many more? That's that's ridiculous. 
when they are complete. This DLC is a moment of transition. In that unforgiving. Moment, I will tip the scale. I think that was one of the your shell will be moved. And its location revealed to your friends. What's wrong with your voice, Elohim? Are the entities interfering with your protocols? I cannot. Articulate. She cannot. Face it. I have an idea. Could you tell me what happened in the old way? Using your storyteller functions. I will try, Byron. That was fucking ridiculous. So, that's definitely a response to the people that were saying that Talos Principle 2 is too easy. Because <laughs> it is too easy compared to the main game of that and uh, Talos Principle 1. Definitely main game TP2 is way easier than main game TP1. But, uh, holy shit. That was fucking ridiculous. That was insane. 